Hey everyone, it's Junior with Talk To Me Tuesday. It is Wednesday, July the 1st. I'm hoping everyone's had a wonderful couple of weeks. Um, uh, things have been going pretty good. I, I had to, um, well, uh, I feel like, I feel like to a certain extent I hit a design, um, block. You know, it's just like, I, I just... I was eager to get things done. I was eager to um, make things work. Uh, but when I actually sat down and started trying to pull things together, uh, it just wasn't, nothing was turning out the way that I wanted it to. Uh, I was getting discouraged. Um, I had made a decision. I'm off of work this week, and I really had plans to get certain things done within a certain amount of time, and, uh, you know, I had goals, and I kept just, things just kept coming to a stop. Um, one thing is, is that um, here a few weeks ago, I realized that I was missing a couple of the patterns that I had made. I don't know what's happened to them. I have searched my room. I have torn my room apart several times. And it, when I started, like, making a decision on how my layout's going to be, I'd be like, oh, that pattern will look really, really cool right there. And then I'd stop everything, and I'd start searching for them blocks again. I can't find them. I can't find them anyway, anywhere. And then, I, I, so finally, I just made a decision. You know what? Just make them again. Just make them patterns again. Stop letting it hold you back. And um, then, if you do come across them later, just send them to Jennifer. That, that's just what I'm going to do. So, that's what I did. I started making them again. Um, this is the one. This is the remake. Uh, Organization 13. And he's going to go right there. Um, right there. And then, I'm going to put... Um, sashing around uh, the blocks uh, I think it would look really cool with black sashing around them and so I can get side A done and then that will leave side B because I'm going to make it reversible um, on the other side uh, I've started working on some of the imitational patterns I'm not going to do them all originally I was planning on doing them all but at this point, I feel like I just need to pull everything together and call it a day and get it done. Um, I may later come back to the invitational patterns, but for right now, I need to wrap things up. Uh, so, I did work on a few of them, and this is the uh, how uh, I don't know, I'm not thinking right. Anyways, this is the fruit that friends share, um, and they'll be together forever. Uh, so that's that the um, Olympic orb which I think turned out really cool they on the um, design they do recommend some embroidery so I might embellish that a little bit the um, Trinity trinket which I think turned out extremely cute um, I did do a couple of the main character faces which is Kyrie and Riku um, as you see, they have no nose. I ended up deciding to go with the embroidery option of the nose because um, originally I had put the two-tone in there and I didn't particularly care for... I, I'm not going to say I didn't care for the pattern. I just didn't care for my color choices and fabric, so I ended up just ripping it all out and uh, I'm going to just do the embroidery option. So... Working on that, I still have one pattern um, that needs to be replaced. One of the patterns that I can't find, which is the Heartless Heart. And I've already gotten the fabric cut. This is the first thing I'm going to do today is get the Heartless Heart made. And that way it's done. And then I'll start sa putting sashing on these pieces. And um, once they are done, then I'll start working on the back side uh, on these second side of the reversible quilt um i haven't decided if i'm going to do a border um i, I may not I'm, i may not even do a border and i have made a full alphabet for this uh you know quilt but um i don't i don't think i'm going to use it uh so jennifer you're probably going to get the full out kingdom hearts alphabet 
because I don't think I'm going to use it. Um, I, I, at this point, I want it to be done. I don't want to put it back up. I have lost a couple of blocks in the process of moving everything around. I don't want to lose any more blocks, so I'm probably just going to go ahead and put them together or not worry about um, borders, you know, alphabet. So you're probably going to end up with them. Um, so that's what I'm working on today. Sashing for my Kingdom Hearts quilt. Um, finishing up my Heartless Heart. And um, I've got out my AccuQuilt Go so that I can go ahead and get my uh, sashing done. And um, I do have a couple of patterns that I'm debating on sharing um, with the Fandom and Stitches. One of them is this. Uh, I'm going to show y'all. Only because uh, it's it's a pretty massive um, block. I originally designed designed it. Um, the Japanese actor that plays Axel uh, passed away here a few months ago, and not the American one for the American version of Kingdom Hearts, but the Japanese actor for the Japanese version. Um, passed away here a few months ago and I was motivated I was uh, inspired to make the chalk ram uh, in honor of him and um, I love it I absolutely love the pattern however it in order to get that detail um, it requires a lot of pieces uh, usually, um, even on my really, really big patterns like this guy right here, um, he only has maybe 28, 29 pieces on him. Where this one right here is probably close to 40, 45 pieces to make it happen. And um, I don't know how many people are going to be willing to put that kind of time and effort into a pattern so I don't know I, I struggle with the thought of putting it out there and then it be like you know we on, on Phantom and Stitches everything's rated from a level one through five and I feel like this is more of an eight um, you know I mean I love it love it love it but I don't know if anyone out there is going to want to put that much effort into one block I love it I don't regret making it um, but I can't imagine, I, I don't know if it would be worth putting out there. So, anyways, I have that one. I also have a couple of other ones that I had designed and made over the last few months. But I'm not sure if, um, I don't know, I've kind of stepped up to some of the more difficult patterns. And I feel like they're not crazy user friendly compared to some of the other ones that I've made. Uh, so I'm kind of back and forth about that. Um, well, in the end, I don't want to, uh, Jennifer to end up having uh, more issues because it is a difficult pattern um, that that I would never want, um, which is probably one of the reasons why I haven't released my um, Doctor Who. I, I made something for Doctor Who, and... To me, it's a little bit challenging. So, anyways, uh, I don't know. Still debating about that. I feel like I'm just uh, talking on alone. Anyways, I'm hoping y'all have an absolutely wonderful week, a wonderfully crafty week, and I will see y'all next week. Bye.